How are you? I'm fine, I'm What's your name? My name is Christiana Jackson. What's your purpose to be here today? Uh, my purpose of being here today, although this is the group I attend every uh, Tuesday, unless on holidays, but my purpose of being here today is to um, film because I'm doing a training, uh, a course with um, Amelia. So we came here to film the, the women's group. Asylum is a, 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 a stressing people. If not for this group, I don't know how we should have been. It's helping us a lot. Uh, the history and the story of this group is that um, uh, about uh, four years ago, I worked with this fantastic woman who came to do some sexual health work with me, actually, um, uh, on, one, on a project. And she said to me, um, you need to go to Pafras. There's a lot of women there who aren't accessing this information and, um, and uh, you know, you need to get in there. Asylum seekers really need support around this. And when we went, we found it was too difficult. So many men, and it was hard for the women to feel safe to talk to us. So we started a little women's group in, in it was a cupboard at, at Papras, in the chair cupboard. And there were three or four of us, including still uh, two or three women who are still here today. And that was three and a half years ago. Anyway, we got too big for the cupboard, so we moved into another room. And we got too big for that, so we moved, we've moved four times. And every time we move into a bigger room, more women come. So we've built it from, yeah, three women in a cupboard. It's always hard with funding, and I have very few hours to do this. But what is never difficult, I have so much um, uh, joy from this group. Uh, it's, such a, a, it's such a great place to be. So that's never difficult. Sometimes I do stay awake at night worrying about people. Good morning. Morning. How are you? I'm all right. What's your name? My name is Gladys. Gladys. Yeah. Okay. Today we come to uh, visit Mariana Guru. Okay. So we met you here. How, how long are you coming to this group? And ah. How you see the group? I've been coming to Marana group now, going to two years. Yeah. I love the group. Yeah. yeah, because I come here, I meet friends, you know, we socialize, you know. We strengthen each other, you know. With our situation, we change ideas. And the group is very helpful. Yes, yeah, very helpful. We come here, they give us food, clothes, you know. They give us transport, like some of us that, like me, I don't have cash. So it helps me to leave the house and come here, you know. Um, you are working with Mariana. Mm -hmm. What is your purpose in this group? So I am a psychologist yeah. and a doctor. Yeah. So I come here to talk to the women okay. and do um, hand massage okay. with the women as well. Yeah, yeah. So how do you find it in this group? I really, really like this group. It's, it's an amazing group. The women are amazing, and yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good. Yeah. This is. Um, the Red Bull mm. women's group, yeah. where all women meet, yeah. and yes. they will talk mm. not anything in particular, Welcome. but you can talk of so anything, you can meet friends, How you can it? enjoy yourself, you yeah. can celebrate great days, you can go out. Mm. They show there's a lot of things which you don't know in leaves. There's a lot of new women, I think, in the last couple of weeks, so it's fantastic having you all here. Uh, and it is great to be here to celebrate with Dorothy. Um, this is a group just for asylum seekers. If you get your papers, we will celebrate with you and say goodbye. <laughs> so, and I'm sorry about that, but it's, yes. <laughs> but that is because there are so many women here, and that's the way we need to do it. Uh, how do you find Mariana? Just describe Mariana and the staff in one word. How do you describe her and the group? I can put it two words because she's a superstar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Or I can call her a hero yeah. in my life, yeah, because she and it makes me stop crying or stop being stressed. Yeah. So she's my star, she's my hero. If you have an appointment, you just come and explain to her boy, she'll set, she'll set you free. 
If you are from another point, maybe the cab will show one cab you. I wish you all the best. Thank you. And, and uh, yesterday was your birthday. How did. do you feel? Oh, I feel a hundred percent, my sister. Yeah. I'm feeling so good. I feel like an I am on top of the world yeah. with all my sisters, lovely sisters inside here. Yeah. They are very lovely. Yeah. And they gave me a lot of loving and feelings. I feel like I'm 25. These people are lovely. They are wonderful. Oh, I don't have tongues to give them talk. Give them thanks, Jamaica talk. Okay, and then Bob Marley. Yeah. The music that playing there. Yeah. Bob Marley, Jamaican. Okay. okay. Even when I'm from Jamaica, yeah. I know English, but math is not, you're not too old to learn. Okay. And I'm happy of those people. Okay. So they teach you English? Yes. And uh, some other activities? A also. lot of activity, yes. Yeah. That I'm appreciated so much. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, what else do you uh, benefit from Mariana's group? Oh. I had tea, mm -hmm. I had cake, I had whatever. Yeah. And then for me, don't have no, she gave me four pounds for my bus pass. Oh, okay. And okay. I thank her so much. Yeah, that... I've known you for some time now. How long have you been in this asylum? Oh, it's a long time. From 2005. Mm -hmm. Until now, I have got 10 years now. With you in this asylum, how do you find in this asylum? Uh, asylum what's the It's a big problem now. Mm -hmm. For now, I have got a problem because I don't have house. Uh, so I, I, I go, I so some friends help me uh, sometimes two weeks, sometimes the past year, another one month, sometimes another. It's very hard for me. Uh, yeah. So how do you survive? Are you on NASA benefits or do you uh, have I went to Pafrax to get food there. Uh, sometimes the, uh, I'm coming here to see Mariana. Um, have they refused you or they, are you still uh, uh, Since I write a uh, new fresh claim, but they refuse, every time refuse me. They refuse me. Mariana is a, v, a very good person. Yeah, because he always sometimes he, when he, uh, I sleep at home, she, she was called, called me to go, to come. Sometimes, he, like last week, she helped me with 30 pounds. Yes, for food. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for uh, no. thank you for, for your time. Yes, thank you. I hope everything will be okay one day. Okay. Uh, so, what message do you want this to send uh, to, you know, to people or uh, to the home office? Uh, to home office, I need to tell you, say, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm very, it's very hard for me. My life is very hard this day. It's very, very hard because I don't have the house, I don't have everything. It's hard for me. Yes. I'm still waiting. I don't know how long I'm going to wait. I've been in this country for nine years. Nothing has happened. So we, we don't even know what they are planning to do. So maybe if we by the end of the year we hope that there will be some big changes for everybody i <laughs> like coming here Marianne is very helpful to everybody uh, she's uh, taking us to the trips uh, if you go to trips you very feel fresh uh, than rather staying at home you feel very lonely mm. Okay. Marianne is a very nice person because she's trying by all means to help us, to give us food, some clothes, because we are not working, we, we have no money to buy anything, uh, you know, 
So she's really trying her best. Bye. Bye. In this uh, asylum situation that I find myself in, being uh, creative in craft, it, it has helped me a lot to reduce the stress that I go through. So it's like when I'm when I'm doing like a quilt, a patchwork quilt, mm. I take it like every stress that I feel, I put a stitch. Every stitch on my quilt represents the stress that I'm trying to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, Mariana is uh, like a, a counselor. She will call you if uh, you explain your problems to her. She understands. And she give, gives you some advice that will make you happy. Or she uh, directs you to, to counselors that, um, to, to take care of your situation. And uh, sometimes some people, when they have court case, she even write letter for them. And uh, sometimes she asks your opinion if um, you are comfortable for her to accompany you to the court. Anyway, thank you so much. Mm, you're welcome, you're welcome. And I hope um, uh, we appreciate what she is doing because she is doing good things for her. Because so some people are depressed. Some people are stressed uh, because of the situation we are in. But when we come to, when you come to this group, you feel lively. You feel um, uh, like you are alive again. 